when you're checking the incisal edges preoptively or for provisionals or for final restorations or for tooth preparations of maxillary anterior teeth, you always want to tip the patient up in the chair so their face is parallel to your face and the incisal plane is parallel to the floor. You don't ever want to check them with the patient laying back. When you tip them up, what are you looking for? If the patient has a flat lip with the lips in repose, you always want some tooth display. If they have a moderately arched or maximally arched lip, then you've got to go by the length of the central incisors, which you'll remember the average length of a central incisor is 11 millimeters. What are some other fundamentals of aesthetics? You always want the central incisors to be the longest teeth in the incisal plane. If you drill a line from cuspid to cuspid, you want the centrals to be the longest teeth. You want that incisal plane to be parallel to the lower lip and you want the incisal plane of the central incisors to be parallel with the pupillary line. So the bottom line is always tip the patient up so you're sure that the incisal plane, especially the incisal plane of the central incisors in your tooth preparations, in your provisionals, or in your final restorations is parallel to the pupillary line and the overall incisal plane is parallel to the lower lip and there's some tooth display with lips in repose. You can see these teeth are only five, six, seven millimeters long. I'm sitting the patient up in the chair and I'm prepping the incisal edges of the central incisors so that they're parallel with the top of the glasses or the pupillary line. And that way the technician doesn't have to deal with incisal edges that are off. He knows the preparation, the preparations are parallel to the pupillary line, the tabletop, or the horizon. Touching those up just a little bit. Remember, we're lengthening the teeth so I don't have to reduce the incisal edges of the anterior teeth. I'm just squaring them up because I want a flat surface for that veneer to seat on. But I don't want to hang four millimeters of lithium desilicate off the incisal edge of that tooth. I'd like to keep it to about two millimeters. That's perfect. Want the laterals a little bit shorter than the centrals. The cuspids will be about the same length as the centrals. That's the dental minute. These techniques work and they work every time. Are you feeling stuck? You know you have more to offer and you can elevate higher in your dentistry practice, but you just don't know how to do it. Well, great news. DentistryMasterclasses.com is here for you. At DentistryMasterclasses.com, Dr. Kupperth is offering his greatest work and his best cases. Here is everything included when you subscribe to DentistryMasterclasses.com. You will get incredible comprehensive cases not seen in Dental Minute videos, an organized library of all the Dental Minute videos, and the Dentistry Masterclasses, comprehensive cases for study and reference. You will get before and after pictures of Dr. Cupper's fantastic restored cases. And guess what? All of this is 40 bucks a month. That's right, 40 bucks a month. This is an opportunity you cannot miss. Go to dentistrymasterclasses.com and subscribe today.